Well, Love and Marriage Huntsville started out with Kiki talking to Melody about Marceau having an affair. Now, they bleeped out the names, but we were already aware several months ago that um, there was an alleged um, affair with Letitia's makeup artist and Marceau. Uh, but it looks like Kiki was telling Melody about a situation where the makeup artist and another individual, which I think it was someone on Kiki's glam team also had supposedly or allegedly had a threesome with Marceau. Now we get and fast forward to the barbecue at Kimmy and Maurice's house. And y'all, everybody keeps saying, you know, that Kiki threw water on Letitia, but ain't no way that's no water that dark that's coke pepsi and i knew that there was something up with that cup when i saw it moved from one spot to another so i'm starting to think this scene could have really been planned out because one minute the cup is sitting in front of stormy then it's sitting on this little black circle on the table and just you know happened to just go flying directly in Letitia's face so I wouldn't be surprised if this whole scene was staged, but anyway, when Kiki walked in, you could already tell that she was on one. She was ready to get some stuff started with Letitia. It was just right out the gate. Poor Stormy, you know, she was sitting there looking like, why am I being involved in this? She looked very confused as to why Kiki felt the need to kind of explain what she had been told about this rumor regarding Marceau. Now you've got Marceau sitting there. He's ignoring her. Letitia's ignoring her. Letitia didn't speak to her, but, um, and it seemed like that really is what got up underneath Kiki's skin. She sat in that confessional and pretty much said that, you know, while she's talking, people need to listen. And if you're not listening, then basically there will be no card game going on. We saw how she grabbed those cards and threw them. Um, and, you know, Letitia Marceau still just ignored her. And, you know, that cup went flying. And poor Letitia, I mean, I don't know whether she saw it coming or didn't, but it didn't look like she did because of the way that she gasped. But what surprised me was how after she threw the cup of soda on Letitia, Marceau didn't even get up. We just heard him hollering, we're not doing this. And he didn't even bother to try to go get her uh, a Kleenex or a paper towel or dry her face off. And Kiki just got up and politely strolled on about her way. Now, when Marceau went running to kill me and, you know, saying that what she had done and that she should be drug tested and all of that, Kiki was really not phased. But when her husband tried to step to Marceau and he went running all around the mulberry bush, he hid behind Kimmy. Then he made his way around Jalen. I guess he thought one of them was going to protect him. But I mean, all of this is just crazy. So I guess we'll have to see the continuation on next week. But what is so funny about this whole scenario is that Tisha refuses to talk about anything in regards to her marriage and neither does Marceau. But it's funny how season, what, season one, two, three, Tisha and Marceau were constantly talking about Martell and Melody. And now that the spotlight is on them, they want to be quiet. And, you know, Tisha seems like she so badly wants to be the power couple of Huntsville that she's willing to ignore her husband's behavior. Like back in, I think it was either season two or three, Letitia needed Marceau to do something with the kids. I think she needed him to pick them up from school or something. And he was packing his stuff and basically telling her that he was on his way out of town for business. Letitia had no idea that he was even going out of town. And they were in Vegas. He wouldn't renew his vows. No matter how much she kept pushing it, he said no. And taking a whole trip to Africa and not even... First of all, not telling your wife that you've made plans for this trip 
And then on top of it, when she says she wanted to go, you told her no once again. Now, if those are not red flags to anybody that's married or even in a relationship, I don't know what is. Um, it's just there's just been too many things to show that this man is not totally on the up and up. And I mean, telling her that she was jealous of Melody, uh, you know, the photo of him, the, well, the alleged photo of his back in that hotel. He never answers Letitia. He never gives her a straight answer when she asks him questions. He goes all around the mulberry bush. So in my mind, Letitia is very much so in denial about what's going on in her marriage. And either she's, if she's not in denial and she knows she's not strong enough and capable to handle it. So maybe that's why she ignores it. Now, no matter how badly Marceau has disrespected Letitia on the show, Letitia Scott is the poster child for I'm a stick beside him. This is your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, that, I'm and, that's, and, that's, him. and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. Now, I don't have a problem if she decides to stick beside him, but just don't act like the man is perfect and that he's never done any wrong. So sound off below in the comments, you guys. Let me know your thoughts about all of this. And as always, I'll talk to you all in the next video. Please give this one a thumbs up and be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.